Students returning to school Tuesday are expected to face traffic jams in the parking lot. Hello, I'm Carol Rock with your SCV News Break for Friday, January 13th. Nine Heart District schools are getting solar panels installed in a project that could save the district $20 million over the next 20 years and reduce its carbon footprint. The installations may affect parking availability for students and parents through mid-February. District officials are encouraging folks to carpool. Work at Valencia, Saugus and Canyon High Schools will require some closures of parking areas until mid-February when the construction kicks into high gear at West Ranch, Golden Valley and Sierra Vista Junior High. The project has a lesser effect at Rancho Pico, La Mesa and Rio Norte Junior High Schools, which will all be completed in February. A Hispanic man in his 20s was shot in the back of the head as he drove down New Hall Avenue Thursday night by an unknown assailant. The man, who has not been identified, is in stable condition at a local hospital. Little information is available on the incident, it is, and it is not known if it was gang-related. No suspect or vehicle descriptions have been released. Coming up after the break, find out who's in the race for the city council elections. Details next. This is Toyota Today. Smart, safe, and worry-free. We make SoCal go. Now, lease the all-new Camry, America's best-selling car, for only $249 a month. Or choose low 29 financing for 60 months and get Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. See your Southern California Toyota dealer. The Santa Clarita Arts Commission approved a deal with COC Thursday that sets aside time for community groups to use the Performing Arts Center. The price tag is $70,000 annually for the first two years and $75,000 for the third year. This allows community groups to use the facilities 21% of the time that it's open. The commission also divided up an additional $48,000 in grants to eight local organizations to help cover their costs to rent the facility. Five people completed filing for two open seats on the Santa Clarita City Council by Friday's 5 p.m. deadline with the election scheduled April 10th. Deputy District Attorney John Hatami was the first to file, followed by Water Board Member Ed Colley, incumbent Council Member Bob Keller, Mayor Lori Ender, and former Council Member Tim Ben Boydston. The two seats being filled, or possibly refilled, are currently held by Ender and Keller. A pair of juvenile offenders who walked away from a supervised hike near their Lake Hughes camp are back in custody. The two are assigned to Camp Mendenhall in Lake Hughes and disappeared during a hike on Thursday. Sheriff's deputies say a resident called in Friday morning to report two juveniles wearing probation camp jumpsuits were contacting residents and asking to use the phone. Deputies found the two behind a business on Elizabeth Lake Road Friday morning and took them back to their camp. Cool, dry, and windy in Santa Clarita today, where the high reached just 69 degrees. It's going to be mostly sunny for your Saturday, with highs expected to top out around 70 degrees. On Sunday, we've got a 40% chance of some much-needed showers. And skies are expected to clear up by Monday, when highs are expected in the upper 50s in Santa Clarita. And now with your SCV Business Minute, here's Ryan Haslam. Valencia-based U.S. HealthWorks announced Thursday it has acquired Priority Medical Care, operator of two medical clinics in New Jersey. The acquisition brings U.S. HealthWorks total to 173 medical clinics in 15 states, including three clinics here in the SCV. Nationwide, U.S. HealthWorks employs 2,700 people and serves more than 11,000 patients per day. They are the nation's second largest operator of occupational health care centers. And now for your business calendar, two important meetings are coming up on January 19th. Members of the Valley Industry Association will meet the new board of directors at a meet and greet event at 5 p.m. It will be held in the University Center at College of the Canyons. RSVP to the VIA office at 661-294-8088. Also on the 19th, there is a free Enterprise Zone breakfast workshop at 9 a.m. in the council chambers at City Hall. The keynote speaker, John Collard of American Tax Incentives, will discuss how qualified businesses can reduce their state income tax through the Enterprise Zone program. That's your SCV Business Minute. I'm Ryan Haslam. Lacrosse players from West Ranch High School will play in a regional tournament this weekend in Palm Springs. 
Three Wildcat Club players will participate as members of the LA Mavericks travel team based out of the Caneo Valley and headed by former Syracuse All-American Sean Lindsay. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scbnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carol Rock. Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.